Hello and welcome to GPTV on Tuesday the 14th of March. My name is Gary Peer. Oh, and what a lovely introduction it was, Gary. My name is Philip Kingston and welcome to the GPTV episode where Gary introduces it. Yes. We had a fight off camera. <laughs> we did. With Gary saying, oh, you never let me introduce GPTV. Can I have a go? So viewers, he's had his go and... Now, next week, we'll get back to a more professional not, start. Not at all. I'm lucky to get a word in. And, you know, even your kids reckon I'm lucky to get a word in. And they love you, your kids. But they say, you know what? Let Dad just let you get a word in. Can Dad just let you get a word in? Do you know that? It's happening behind the scenes. Do you know talk. what? I hate the way that you've taken my <laughs> children and ganging up. You know, have problems with your own Dividing family. Dividing the family. That's what we're good at doing. Anyway, yeah. viewers, yeah, uh, exactly right. this is an episode where we're That's introducing new product. And you probably don't know what I'm about to lead off with you, Jared. But the real estate industry hasn't been... Has, hasn't been the easiest industry over no. the years, so we've felt a need to diversify. Mm. I like so, it. So we now have Gary, I don't know whether you know this, there we, we go. now have Gary Pure and Associates Water. Uh, $8.99 a bottle, very I've reasonable. I've got to tell you, we've got a great deal, Gary, because yeah. there's a sewerage works up in the Northern <laughs> that's Territory it. that's got a recycling plant. Desal, desal plant. No, no, it's a recycling oh, sewerage recycling. water. Okay. Yeah. And um, we, we we got this three cents cheaper <laughs> by, by, by using that. It's, it's very actually distasteful. Not, it's actually not true. This is, you're in the gutter. This is pure Australian water. No, you're very distasteful. And all I can tell you, viewers, I mean, we do buy these in the tens of thousands, there is serious markup is going it? on <laughs> in, in the water, water area. Right? Yeah. So, but we're not charging. Let's just no, get we some give perspective because people are going to think we're running a scam. What sort of a two-bit circus scam show we got going here? So this is we hand these out in our coffee van, and they are free. Free. Um, free. So Absolutely. come to the coffee van because in the warmer auctions you can cool down with that. Or the, the you know, if you go, warm up. To, if you go to, and you should know this, Gary, but if you go to a Viennese coffee house, yeah, I like to be sure. And you get yeah. sat down <laughs> yeah. at the table, and they bring yeah. you the newspaper with the wooden binder on I the like left hand yeah. side, and they offer you a coffee. What's the first thing they put on the table? Water. Water. So Sometimes, the Viennese yeah. like to drink their oh, coffee with the water. We are thinking it's very sure and Got beautiful. nothing yeah. to do with real estate in Melbourne, but oh, it's very lovely. Uh, take a sip. It. Mm. So refreshing. It's <laughs> supposed to be like tasteful. It's supposed to put things it was sexy. Onto it. That was my oh, sexy yeah. drink in the water shop. Yeah, wow. Very refreshing. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about the refreshing uh, state that we're in because we've just had a weekend off. Oh, okay. Uh, How good do you feel? Although, although you know, our team was slogging away hard, opening properties. It's a bit embarrassing. And some that, good numbers that, around, Phil. It's a bit embarrassing why you were sitting by the pool drinking pina coladas. Yes, yeah, I'm a big With bikini pool. clad waitresses and waiters. Oh, I didn't know you could look over our fence and find out, Phil. Well, well okay, the team yeah. were working hard. Very busy at the open for inspections, Gary. Yep, good numbers, good response. Market's feeling great, Phil. Let's Market talk about... Market continues to perform. Our auctions coming up, because that's what this show's about today. We haven't got any auctions to review, Phil. Although there's been a few sales that have happened. To you as it's a bit windy, by the way. We yeah. are out sitting outside. We'll hair's talk more about, a bit, bit yeah. about where we are. Yeah. But it is a bit windy, yeah. so if you're seeing our hair blown around... Yeah. It's the wind-swept GPTV version. Yeah. Well, you don't have that much hair, do you? You've got quite niche and tidy. Because I'm always having a haircut on the a military basis. Look. The military look's going to come into fashion, and gee, you're going to be a winner. Phil, let's talk about the auction tomorrow. Yes. We've got one tomorrow in Tennyson Street, Elwood. We've got eight apartments. What do you reckon about well, those? What a, what a great Amazing. block this will make for somebody yes. because it's eight older style apartments. It is cool. Uh, right in the heart of magnificent Elwood. In fact, you can walk from there to the Blessington Street Gardens. You can. Or, St Kilda Botanical or, Gardens. Or the, yes, thank you, Gary. No or, or the tram, of course, in Brighton Road and a very short stroll to Ackland Street. So a great investment or an opportunity for somebody to buy them, refurbish them and on sell them individually. Come on down. Hard to get a block of flats. Philip, uh, we do have triple auction action on Saturday uh, morning. Don't you love saying triple auction? Uh, sure action. Do. What happens when we have four? We have quadruple auction action. And five? We have f- five auctions <laughs> at the same time. So we've got triple auction action. We start off in Ormond, Phil. Have we in, ever had five at we, one time? We have. I think we have. I think we have. Uh, we start uh, off I think Ormond. it wouldn't have been quintuple. No. Uh, no. Uh, one, double, quin. triple, yeah, quin. quin. Yeah. And then what's five? Uh, no, quin is because quad's four quad, and quad. quin is five. So quintuple yeah. auction action. Quin, quintuple mm. auction action. That's it. Uh, Phil, we start off in Nichols Road, Ormond. I'm going to be doing the auction, but you can take us through this wonderful looking property. Well, Gary, uh, home. it's always hard to find a single storey residence, and this is beautiful. It's three or maybe four bedrooms, two bathrooms, uh, and of course a double lock up garage. That property is just fabulous. It's, uh, it's really, that's the sort of thing that we're always looking for and can never find. Uh, Phil, talking about find, uh, Westbury Street is a good find, a great address in St Kilda East. Jeremy Rosen's auctions, this one with Nikki Janova. Pretty good price guide on this Viewers, one. Viewers, I might have mentioned this before on G. 
GPTV many, many years ago when I first got into real estate. Um, and this is going back to 1984, Gary. That's the early days. Um, I used to stand in Westbury Street uh, trying to sell properties and yes. the best I could do would get offers from ladies of the night no, because no. that whole part of East St Kilda. Street. Absolutely. No, I think you've got the wrong street. No, 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 not at all. Imagine, not I, at all. Never, I never and, knew it was And that. now it's just the, the epitome of, of hipster grooviness at Westbury Street. I think so, you're just uh, dreaming no, of no, ladies not, of the not, night not, and not the, at the all, day really. and Saturday. Anyway, this is a great two bedroom, Madness. one bathroom, one car space okay. apartment with beautiful parquetry timber floors and that is a great kind of 60s block. I love it. And it's not far up the road from Baranfield at Williams Road. Uh, this called Yule Bar. Yule Bar, Phil. And don't try to put that in a sentence because it could be not appropriate. But Simon Radolnik brings this one to the market. You're going to be auctioning at 10.30. You'll be starting off in your hood in uh, Paran. Uh, majestic Victorian, Gary. Uh, in livable, beautiful livable condition as it is, but it could be refurbished and renovated to even greater and grander heights. And it is a corner location, Gary, so perhaps some development opportunity there. It's all happening in St Kilda and Bayside this Saturday, Philip. Uh, we've got a magnificent looking home in Octavia Street. St Kilda, love that location. Uh, you're going to be meeting a little more there and auctioning that one at 11.30. Gary, that has emerged, that little pocket of St Kilda is a really vibrant pocket as Wellington Street has really kicked on. But you can walk from there, of course, to Carlisle Street, yes. to uh, Ackland Street, and of course, even uh, the best pocket there, you just walk yep. to Chapel Street. And Fitzroy Street, if you yeah. go there for you can go coffee. there too. It's fantastic. Uh, or a pizza at... Yep. Uh, What's it called? Top, uh, Topolino. Or you could, that institution. Or, or, or you could get on to, uh, you could get on to Queens Road, yep. drive through the city, and go to Sydney Road, Brunswick. You could, you could do that from there too. So <laughs> easily, easy, easy access, access to Sydney Road. Everybody Brunswick. knows that. Uh, Phil, let's stay back in St Kilda. Now we're in Smith Street. Uh, Jeremy Rose is doing five auctions this Saturday. I don't know if wow, you know that. Wow, wow. Uh, busy man. He's going to get with it. Lucky he's young, fit, and virile. Phil, he is. He uh, is. Take us through this great looking property. Lovely Gary, this two, two bedrooms, one bathroom. Lovely, entertaining areas. Gorgeous inside. Uh, that is a very, very schmick property and a great location. Uh, Phil, 12.30, just the one auction on. Jeremy Rosen is going to be in St Kilda Road, St Kilda. Great looking property, this, and right in the heart of all the action. Gary, uh, walking distance to all of the things that we just mentioned about Octavia Street, because that's just around the corner. Uh, two bedrooms, one bathroom, security car parking, uh, and a roof terrace, I don't mind saying. Quite stunning it is too. Adam Jossie is excited, Phil. He's excited to be in he Central St Kilda. He was born excited, He was born Gary. excited, wasn't he, Phil? Uh, and he is going to be very excited when Jeremy Rosen joins him for the auction in Eildon Court. Love this location. Just at the back there of Fitzroy Street in a very cosmopolitan location. Check this out. I love that address, Gary. Um, and that is two bedrooms, one bathroom. Uh, a really good floor plan and a great opportunity to be part of the St Kilda Groove. Uh, Jeremy Rosens closes his auction account at 2.30 in Daniel Road, Crawford North. This terrific, fine-looking property. What a great apartment. Terrific floor plan, Phil. It is, Gary. Uh, that's two bedrooms, one bathroom, and a car space, security car space, of course. Uh, magnificent property in as new condition. Great-looking building. Philip, at 2.30, have a guess who's doing the auction at 2.30? Uh, you would be. No. No? Who is? No. It's not you, me, it's not you, it's not Graham Callan. Simon Rodolnik. Not Simon Rodolnik. Uh, Lior. Not Lior. Okay, well who is it? It's not Jeremy Rosen. Who is it? It's going to be Find the Best Agent because we're in conjunction with Find the Best Agent and they did find the best agent, us. So we are going to be doing it in conjunction with Find the Best Agent. 17 Fraser Street, Ormond. Uh, this is a fantastic looking property. Leon Gusenfitter has been excited, jumping up and down about it. What a great looking home. It is an amazing looking home, Gary. And this is four bedrooms, two bathrooms, plenty of off-street car parking. Check out the kitchen there. The kitchen is just stunning. That is really a beautiful family. Family home. So you have an early day on Saturday, finish early, as I do, but I'm going to come back out. Uh, my auctions finish early, but I'm going to keep working through the day. I'm going to be there at Fraser Street with Find the Best Agent and with Leon to see how that one goes. Phil, Sunday, we've got a busy, action-filled day. By the way, this weekend, 22 auctions over 11 suburbs. Not sure if I said that. We start off in, no, you didn't. in uh, Paran, in Carberrook Avenue, a bit of a favourite of ours, Phil. Uh, I've got the auction honours for this one. I love this block. We've sold there many times. Many times, Gary, and Carberrook is such a great location. Two bedrooms, one bathroom, and one thing that's uh, unusual here is it comes with two car spaces and new. a storage cage, Gary, so that really is a fabulous find. 
Harbrook Avenue in Paran. Uh, Phil, off, just off Oron Road, as is Kunal Avenue, very close to our office. Our office kind of splits the two. Uh, it but does. this is a stunning apartment in a small boutique yeah, a group. Shout out I think to only the, three. Shout out to the owners there yeah. who really just know how to produce quality sure real estate. Uh, that's uh, a very hard to find property because it's a penthouse style apartment, three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, uh, double lock up garage, and um, one of only three, Gary, and this is ground floor with garden areas. We join forces for what can only be described as a splendid period home, Philip, in Hudson Street, the address where we bought our first we property did, together. We did, Gary, so, number nine, yeah, Hudson we did. Street is where we bought that. This we is did. number? This is number 17, Phil, yep. and this uh, certainly is a little bit better than number nine, a lot better. This is one of the most magnificent period homes that I've seen in Caulfield North, coming up for auction. It's been popular, we're excited about it. It's owned by a very well-known person too, which we're not going to talk about, Phil, but, um, what a fantastic property. Four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, beautiful off-street car parking. You know, I can't work out whether this property looks the best from the front or the back because both the front facade and the rear facade are just fabulous. But it's a gorgeous family home and Hudson Street is an amazing location, walking distance to the race course yes. and the Caulfield train station, which add value, adds value to this equation. Just on the doorstep of that whole new explosive area that's been developed. Absolutely, Jack Phil, You know excited. what, in fact, that is an amazing area and we yep. really should bring that to the viewer's attention sometime. Yep. I reckon what we should do is we should do a GPTV edition, yep. Gary, from a helicopter. Yes. Where we actually, seriously, this is not a joke, yeah, where no. we actually it's get in a helicopter and we sweep across our no, territory we do that, talking we? about where yeah, we are. Yeah, we should do and that. And if there's anybody with a helicopter company yes. that wants a shout out and that wants yes. to sponsor Probably us. Probably not one on the way to King Island we, if we can. We, yeah. Well, that's Gary. Well, I think it's too early to be making no, King just, Island, Essendon Airport, a aviation Philip. jokes. It's not a joke, it's a reference, Philip. We don't want to be on that helicopter. Well, uh, it wasn't it a was helicopter, very, very sad. it was a plane. Oh, you're right, it was, it was very Anyway, sad. if you've got a helicopter company or just yeah. own a helicopter and would like to host GPTV, we'd love to hear from you. I'm not trying to damage, repair any damage from that <laughs> last name, but I actually like to go to King Island, because, and I well, wonder how it's been affected by well, that. Well, I would think it would okay. be amazingly affected. I think it's okay, though. Let's face it, if you were thinking about going, yeah. would you cancel your booking or keep it? I reckon I'd keep it now. I'd still go. I'd love to go. Do you know what? If you think about it, yeah. though, if we talk about King Island for a yeah. moment, and you're not this debating is, this, is not you? To, this is not <laughs> to add any insult to injury, no. right? Yes. But if if the plane didn't kill you, yeah. The King Island double brie <laughs> yeah. would. Well, let's let's yeah. be clear. Yeah. Well, I've got to tell you, the best product, the yeah. best cheeses, yeah. come out of King Island. But if you're uh, if you've got a heart problem. The last thing you should be doing is having the triple brie from King Island. Not the double, I know. but the triple. I know. I ha so I do, beautiful. I have had it. It's nice, no. but our hearts do go out to those, of course, poor people. And in fact, uh, isn't life funny? Because we had our golf day like, a couple of weeks ago, and the fellow who does our photography was friendly with those people. It was actually terrible. very, terrible. very terrible. terrible. Sad. But I'm, I'm sure this segment mm. has offended somebody, because really... No. Uh, it wasn't we didn't to mean no. to offend anybody. No, definitely not. We just have a we just can't help ourselves. That's it. We're just uh, <laughs> twisted and warped people. Uh, Philip, Park Street, Elsmith, what a great address. Terrific looking property, this one. Uh, love this block, and I know that Leo Sam was looking forward to the auction. Well, Gary, uh, it is a great block, uh, and we were lucky enough to be involved with that project from, from start to finish. Uh, and they are great apartments. This is a wonderful ground floor apartment, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and the most fantastic secure basement car park so we love that building looking forward to meeting Nikki Jenner over at 326 Bamber Road another terrific looking home right in the heart of Caulfield South take us through this one quickly Phil. Gary three bedrooms two bathrooms plenty of off-street car parking and uh, how much do we love Bamber Road we sure love do. it because we're always successful and there's there. lots of boards there and they've all and, got sold and, and the value just seems to go up it all does. the time it's a great address Phil uh, here we are at this property that is at 12.30 on Sunday, Philip. Uh, it's in King Street, and this is the property that we're in. Uh, take us through our property of the week, because it's a beauty. Gary, uh, this property, I think, is the, one of the most magnificent two-storey town residences that we've had the opportunity of putting to the market for quite some time. Four bedrooms, not one, Gary, not two, not three, but three and a half bathrooms. Wow. Uh, a lock-up garage, car parking in front. This property's got everything that opens and shuts, and it's been finished to the most fastidious standards. So I love it uh, and I wish we could get more like it. I agree with you, Phil. At 1.30 I was scheduled to do an auction at 103 Allison Road, which has been put on, on hold for the time being. So if you're interested or worked at home, uh, speak to Adam because it is going to be coming back on the market, but not quite this weekend. No. Nope. Uh, but 
we do have a beauty, Philip, uh, where we did shoot GPTV last week, and that's at 29 Carlingford. By the way, how come you didn't get changed since last week? You were in the same tie. Very disappointing, actually. Uh, 29 Carlingford Street in El Street, Do you Phillip. know what? The uh, viewers, take, the viewers take if, if you do want to have a chat <laughs> about why I do seem like I'm wearing yeah, the same clothes same from clothes. the week before. Just Gross. Uh, just, Someone's so, do, so clean. Of just understand. Gross. I do have a big choice of, you know, of suits and oh, shirts. That's the best. You come up with the same thing you wore last week in GP2. Well, I happen to like it. I think this, is a, this is a lovely suit, Gary. Tell you what. You know what? Disappointed, I'll tell you. Uh, anyway, it's fair comment though. 29 Carlingford Hygiene, Street. Hygiene, Phil. Hygiene. Ca Go on. <laughs> <laughs> been over showered. 29 Carlingford Street, yeah. Elston. We, well, we loved that house, Gary. Sure we, we were there doing GPTV last week. We loved it then and we love it even more now. And I cannot wait to bring down the hammer on that property and wish congratulations to some lucky yep. family that's going to buy one of the nicest houses we've had all and, year. And now Alison Road's been postponed. I'm going to come and join you there. I'm looking I forward think to you it. Should. I'm going to be there. Should, Gary. Wild horses wouldn't keep me away from it. No, no. And no, they so wouldn't try to, I suppose. But uh, Phil Hartley Avenue, around the corner from my joint, where I live. It uh, is. This is a great and unit. Should, I love this why don't, Gary, after yep. the auction in Hartley, yep. you and your lovely wife, Hannah Dear, yep. yes. Hannah Dear, Hannah when Dear. you lived in Brighton, where yep. she was referred to by the name of Hannah, Hannah Dear. Hannah in Dear. Brighton, you are a Hannah Dear, Hannah but now Dear? she's just Hannah. Yep. Yeah, no, she's Hannah. But Hannah yeah. Down there, she was Hannah, was Hannah Dear. Dear. Hannah Dear. Mm. Hello, Hannah Dear. <laughs> um, oh, hello, Hannah Dear. <laughs> Go on. Isn't she lovely? Go on, continue. Oh, you've got a lovely young wife. Oh, how did you, you score know, such a lovely young wife, Gary? All about you because they thought that she was mail order. But anyway, <laughs> and did that old oh. bloke living in the front with this lovely young little Hannah dear. Wow. <laughs> Go on, now you're making, making me anyway, actually I was about to say you should have everybody up back for a, you know an afternoon tea party. I'd love to do that, Phil, but I've got to keep working after that. Otherwise, you Hannah would have, yeah. a lot of money in Chadson. Two bedrooms, some more one on, yeah. bathroom, beautifully renovated, two story, uh, yep. two single story villa, yep. uh, and that's a development, Gary. We've always been successful, but the owners of that property have done the most magnificent renovation. Innovation yeah. to it. I think it's Love that fabulous. Point. It's a beauty. I can't join you there, sorry, Phil, because you're going to be. I'm going to do that auction, and you can't join me because you're going to be at 31 Labassa Grove. Now, if there's ever a prestige address, Labassa, it's got to be one of my favourite streets, and nothing ever comes up there. Damn it! Why don't you sell on that street? And Gary, not only does yeah. it really come up, but this, this property's on the west side, so it's what got a facade. It's got perfect orientation. Yeah. Uh, the reality is, Gary, it's a it's a wonderful home, and it's got a, that it's look. got an apartment attached yeah. to it. So I love that apartment. Lots, there's lots of flexibility with this. I property. love that flexibility. And, and certainly, you you can either live in the house yeah. and yep. have mum and dad live behind you, yes, you or, or you, you could teenager. or you could rent the back out. Yep. So it's dual income. Or you could have a you could have a business from there. But of you course, know. Gary, of yep. course, uh, the the interest has been significant in the parcel of land here. Almost 900 square metres yep. of prime North Caulfield golden mile land. Which is both tragic and progress. And you can't stop well, progress, it is, can you? It is, it can't is. Can't stop it. You know what? For Ontario, People had stopped progress, Gary. Yeah. You know, they would have all gone nostalgic about the horse and cart and said, oh, we can't have any of those yes. newfangled mo those automobiles. Oh, we can't have that. Yeah. Uh, Phil, you won't have far to go from Labasa. You've got a very big day on Saturday. Uh, seven auctions well, again. Uh, on uh, Sunday. Seven I'm auctions up again. for it, though. You are, you're, like, you're very fit. I admire your I fitness and, and, and virility and strength. Uh, but Philip, we're going to be in Ontario Street. you admire Street. somebody's virility? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that's all right. That's not, that's not creepy. You know what? <laughs> well, it's, it is, is it creepy. creepy. And I've, I've got to tell you, I'm a man with two children. I'm right. not sure that that's a massive display Does that make of make me virility? a creepy agent? <laughs> Sorry, Phil, but you know, no, I think you've got you're the, fr you're yeah. the friendly creepy agent. <laughs> <laughs> List with your friendly creepy agent. Uh, Phil, there's a new marketing yeah, platform right. for that's us. It. Let's just yeah. run a whole yeah, yeah. Maybe we should, uh, instead of campaign. having water, we'll have little bags of lollies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. List, list with, with the, the creepy, creepy agents. Agent. Yeah, your yeah. friendly, yeah. Yeah. your creepy, your local creepy agent. agent. Uh, Phil, for Ontario Street, uh, there's nothing creepy about that address. That is a great address. Have a look at this home. It doesn't, doesn't get any better. No. How blessed are we to sell homes like that? Gary, this house is incredible. Yeah. A big family home. The architect designed by one of my favourite architects, Avi Milda. Oh, he's very good. Uh, well, not only is he very good, but he's produced yeah. some of the most luxurious luxurious homes. Including not just, my sister's home. Not just in Corfield. Including my sister's yeah, home. Yeah, After Ludbrook Avenue. Yeah. So we sold yeah. that few yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. The so, whole Sicily thing. So, going. so really your sister? family's put your yeah. money where its mouth is by yes. using Avi, but this she is has. a fabulous home. Built the old fashioned way, Gary, yeah. out of solid brick oh. and concrete slab at first level. That's good. That's Something that we both would have loved to have in our house. But just couldn't afford it. Philip, no. we close off. Uh, what a super Sunday of sensational offerings, Philip. We close off at 4.30 for another fine home. Have a look at this. In the Paris end of Elm Road, 363 Elm Road. Gary, I may Tell well ride to that auction.
action on my black bike with a yep. basket in the front yes. where I'll have baguettes yes. and I'll be wearing a, a beret, beret yes. because it is in the Paris end of Almoreau. Why don't so you, damn it, why don't you do the auction in French, <laughs> Philip? I, I, well, unfortunately, yep. Gary, my French is un petit peu. Ah, a little bit of French. Yeah. Uh, but we are uh, in the Paris end of Elm Road, Philip. Gary, Let's not forget I, that. Gary, I love this property. And this looks a little Parisian, doesn't it? It looks nothing Parisian. No, there is one place in Paris that looks like that. There's Probably. a house in Paris. If, if anything, I've seen it. If anything, you'd yeah. say this was English Tudor style. Well, it's an English Tudor part of Paris, Philip. Well, maybe it was an English <laughs> Tudor home where a French <laughs> person had dinner once. That's right, that was um, it. Or dropped over with the bread. That's right. But exactly anyway, right. this is a fabulous property, Gary. Yes. And it's on a lovely parcel of land, 613 yep. square metres. I love the look of that house. It's got a great floor plan throughout. Yep. That's a big wrap for our offerings. We've got a great... How many auctions over, was that? 22 no? over 11 suburbs. My store. goodness but, me. But, but, lordy, but, lordy me. Lordy, lordy, you indeed. But how about them? Some of them are really good. We've got yeah. some beautiful, beautiful... Phenomenal uh, weekend. ...array of properties right across the board. Some real prestige. So it's kind of been a bit light at the top end this year. There just hasn't been a lot. Well, There's been great demand, but there hasn't been a lot of offerings. But this weekend that, opens... This is the weekend, yeah, Gary, that we're, that we're seeing it. We're going to find out. Which viewers all... By the way, we generally don't release our premiere listings in a new year until March, yeah. well into March, yeah. April. Well, often that's the case. You're right. And this year it no, is so... No, often it's not. It's always the case. No, it's not always Okay, so We're tell me again. tell me when was the last time we put a top-end house to the market in February? 2008. Smarty pants. 2008. Yeah, right. Have you got any evidence to refute it? <laughs> No, you don't. There you go. So 2008. There you go. <laughs> Do you know what? What do they say about um, that? All uh, that that all good statistics are made up, up on, on the spot. spot. There yeah. you go. And that's yeah. one of them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you for tuning I'm in. I'm not sure that's what they say, but we something will, like that. We will keep you in touch with the offerings. All these places that we've got coming up. We'll let you know next week how they went. Plus the new offerings on GPTV. It's great to be having you view. And I hope you enjoy the spot. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. I was just noticing, by the way, yeah. Yeah. you are very grey this year. Have you noticed your hair has gone very grey? Well, I can only work with you for so long. And no, not no, but I'm just trying to work yeah. out whether you look massively distinguished yeah. or I'll just seriously old. Old and crusty. Yeah. The old, crusty, creepy agents bring <laughs> you the, yeah, the, old you the yeah, market. Old, yeah. You're crusty, creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for creepy. That's fantastic. Good. That's great. Thanks. We're going to go out and high on that. Thank you for watching, viewers. We'll see you. As, uh, well, well, you'll be seeing us next week. I've lost it. Can you sign off? <laughs> go on. Thanks for watching GPTV. Have a fabulous week. I'm Philip Kingston. That's crusty, creepy Gary Peer. Have a fabulous Bye. week. <laughs>